Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a wear test on the new Revlon Candid Natural Finish Foundation. Just a disclaimer, I filmed this video yesterday and I realized when I went to go edit that I did not film an intro. That aside, I did get this foundation a while ago and I just hadn't had a chance to try it. So I did want to give it a, a whirl. I also got a concealer and then two makeup brushes which you will see in the video. I didn't really say how I felt about the brushes but I loved them just FYI and I did have a chance to try this concealer. I have it on right now actually. I did not try it in this video because I didn't want it to interfere with the wear test portion in case I didn't like the foundation, I didn't want to wonder if it was the foundation or concealer, but I wanted to give you an update that I did try the concealer. I have it on and I actually love it. Love the concealer. Yeah, the concealer is a win. So just a little FYI, just a little update, but the focus on this video is going to be the foundation. We are going to try it on, we are going to apply, we are going to wear it, we're going to see how it lasts. If you guys saw my Revlon Insta Ready Photo Filter Foundation, I think that's the name, it's like a mile long, but anyway, if you saw that review, you know I loved that foundation, I thought it was so good. So I'm excited for this one to see if it is as good as that one, because this one is Revlon's more natural foundation, if you will. So. I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get into the video. So without further ado, if you would like to see me wear test this Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation and hear my thoughts, then keep on watching. Okay, let's get this party started. Um, Alright, so I have this bag that I got from Revlon. And I got this maybe like a month ago. And I'm just going to dump out the contents in the bag and we have three different foundation shades um what are the colors on here we have bare natural we have chai and we have tawny so i mean we kind of have like a range but it's weird because when you look at them they don't i don't know do they look that much different to you I don't think they look like that much different, but I guess we're going to find out. I also have a concealer and that shade is light pale or it's just light. And then I have a powder and the powder is in 01. Now I I think I saw somebody review this and this powder does have flashback so I am not going to use that today and we all know I have my favorite powder in the world anyway um, and they're also in the package was two brushes it says it's a sneak peek of Revlon's brush collection that is coming in 2019 so these are the brushes so I'm going to take those out of the wrapper Ooh. This is what the brushes look like and they are very very luxe feeling super soft they feel like expensive really nice brushes but what what are they for is this a foundation brush yes okay so it has little matte writing on it and I don't know if you can see right here, but it says foundation on it. And then this one here, it says powder in the matte writing. But these are really nice. Okay, so I need to test out these colors. I am doing a first impression video today as well as the wear test. So... I'm on the fence if I want to try this concealer because I, if anything happens bad with the foundation, I want to know it's the foundation and not the concealer. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to try this out separately. And the same goes with the powder. 
So I'm gonna just focus this video today just simply on the foundation and wear testing. So the first color I'm gonna try out is the darkest because these look really light. They do have a pump, which is great. And I actually do like this packaging. I like that it's in a little tube bottle. So I'm just gonna squirt some on my pan. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the match. And I did prime my skin with the Dermalogica Hydra Blur Primer and the Tatcha Luminous Silk Canvas. Those are my primers right now that I've been using, so I know that they work. So I'm going to take whatever the foundation brush and I'm just gonna go in with some product. And I'm just going to swipe it and just place it. I do have a little bit of like eyeshadow on my lids right now just because I was messing around with some shadows and then I went to wipe it off and it's just like the residual. Okay, so right away I can tell you this brush is so nice, but it does pick up a lot of product. to apply with the brush but then I'll go in with my sponge that's what I do for all of my foundations all right so I'm noticing right away this wore off you know what? I didn't even read the claims about this foundation we'll do that in a minute okay so this is one side of my face let me uh, read you the claims. This is the little pamphlet that came in the package. It says that we believe in being candid in everything at Revlon, including our makeup. That's why we're introducing Photo Ready Candid Collection with products that live up to their name but have nothing to hide and everything to show off. What do we mean? We formulated Photo Ready Candid to protect the skin by adding an antioxidant, anti pollutant, anti blue light ingredients. And we took out the ingredients like parabens, phthalates, artificial fragrance, artificial dyes, and oils, which you guys know I'm all about no artificial fragrance. <laughs> it's creamy, moisturizing, buildable to give you an impeccable finish. There's 31 shades of the foundation, 17 shades of the concealer, and three translucent powders. Right away, I can tell you, it is not full coverage, but they did say it's buildable. So we're going to find out how many layers I need to put on. So I can see right here all of my redness is still peeking through. It's plenty of coverage on the outside of my face, but this right here, not so much. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some more right there. And then just okay so this is two layers pretty much and this is one side of my face with the foundation versus no foundation so it actually does look pretty nice it looks very natural it's very lightweight it blended out nicely it's not not settling into any lines or anything it looks pretty good so with one layer you have like a medium coverage and with two layers you get pretty close to full the layering it layered beautifully no problems at all no cakiness so I'm gonna go ahead and apply on the other side okay so there it is on my face and yeah I think the color match was Pretty good. I mean, if I get any darker, that's a no-go, but I think with like bronzer and all that on, I think it's going to look fine. Um, I love the brush. The brush is awesome. It's much th like thicker than normal foundation brushes, but I, 
picks up a lot of product and it can get the job done quick. Um, I can't believe that there's like, there's nothing settling in anywhere. There's no cakiness. And honestly, like I was kind of sloppy with my blend. I was just like kind of, you know, not being too precise with it. My biggest concern is going to be how long this wears because I'll notice if the redness starts peeking through real quick. <laughs> but so far, I love it. I think it looks really nice. Really, really nice. I did a review on the Insta Ready Photo Filter, I think it's called, foundation, and I was obsessed with that one. So I have really high hopes for this one, and I love that it's like clean of all of a lot of garbage ingredients like that makes me so happy i'm so glad that more brands especially drugstore brands are, are doing that so i hope i love this foundation i really do so with that said i am going to put on the rest of my makeup and then i will be back to show you kind of how it looks with all of my other products and then we're definitely doing a wear test john's not home today so i'm going to do a wear test and we're going to see how it looks at the end of the day. Right now it is 2.30. So um, it's a little bit leaner than I wanted, but that's okay. We are going to wear it and see how it goes. So I will be right back. Okay you guys, so I am back. I've been filming for a hot minute. It's now dark outside. It is currently 4.38 and this is what my makeup is looking like. I will say that I'm pleasantly surprised right now by this foundation because I put cream products on. I did cream contour, which I never do. Um, yeah, I like layered. I have like a cream highlight, powder highlight. I mean, look at this highlight. I have so much product on my face. Like I went like uber glam with the products and layered it on. And this foundation, like, it held its own. I'm, I like this. Like, this is a good foundation. Like, I was not sure, like, how it was going to perform. But I think so far, like, it looks really nice. Like, I'm, I'm down with it. It's not cakey at all. It's not settling into lines. It didn't really oxidize at all. The color match was... It worked for me for now. Um, yeah, it's the coverage is there for me. I got nothing bad to say. I don't know. I just I am my foundation reviews lately have just been like it's great. I love it. It's great. I love it. But I mean, it's great. I love it. But we're gonna wear it. So it's four thirty now. I'm going to run to the gym, get a workout in get some editing done, hang out with my dogs, and just do what I do. And then I will check in before I go to bed and let you know how it did, which will probably be somewhere around like 10. So I will see you guys in a bit and we'll see how this foundation hangs. Okay you guys, so I'm back. No lashes, no lipstick, uh, yeah. I am just um, tired. <laughs> I held out as long as I could. It is 9.19. I, I need to w wash my makeup off. I need to get into bed. I'm getting up crazy early tomorrow. So I just wanted to hop on and tell you my final thoughts on the foundation. Here's the thing. It's definitely not a super long wear foundation. Well, it still looks okay. It doesn't look like bang and flawless. And I didn't even have it on eight hours yet. I've had it on seven. Um, I am kind of missing a little bit right here. Um, and a little around my nose has kind of come off. That said, it's still not cakey. It did settle in a little bit right here here in my little scar that I have um but not too too bad my pores are 
on and popping. I can like see my pores. So the foundation didn't really hold up on top of my skin. And it may be because it's a little bit, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't look terrible. But it doesn't look as good as some of my other like 24 hour long wear foundations. That said, it never claims to be a long wear foundation. I do think that this is a good like everyday foundation. Like if you don't want to be wearing your $47 foundation on just the day you're running errands, this foundation is a great option. It will hold up through the day, but it's definitely not a foundation that I would recommend if you have if like you want your makeup to last a long long time because I don't I don't think it will. But I do like it. I mean, I would recommend it. There's a time and a place for every foundation, right? And this is definitely one of those like everyday foundations when you don't want like super heavy coverage. You're not going to be wearing it for a ton of time and, you know, but you just want your skin to like look nice and you want to have like a nice flawless base, but you know what I'm saying? Like, there are days when I don't need full beat, but I definitely, I'm a foundation girl, so I want foundation. And this foundation, it would be like my go-to for that. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video when I upload. Follow me on my socials. My handle is at Glam Latte and the Glam Latte Beauty Podcast. All the details are in the description box down below. I'm sorry, I'm so out of it. I'm like exhausted right now. I was like hanging out in front of the fireplace, drinking hot cocoa and like editing. And I'm just, I, I don't know, it hit me. I got up really early this morning. So it just like hit me like a ton of bricks. And I'm just like, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.